Hi, bonjour. My name is Zara Bobby Random, and today I'm going to talk about lithium. Lithium comes from the Greek word lithos, that means stone, and it's a chemical element with symbol Li and atomic number three. It's a soft, silvery white alkali metal, and by standard, it's considered the lightest metal and the lightest solid element. Just like all alkali metals, lithium is highly reactive and flammable and it's stored in mineral oil. If you go and cut it, it exhibits a metallic luster and then quickly turns into a dull silver gray, then back tarnish. In nature, occurs only in compounds such as pegmatic minerals, the main source of lithium. It's present in ocean water and it's commonly obtained from brines due to its soli solubility as an iron. Side note, brine is a high concentration solution of salt in water. Back to lithium. Lithium and its compounds have several industrial applications including heat, re heat resistant glass and ceramics, lithium grease lubricants, flux additives for iron, steel and aluminium production, lithium batteries and lithium ion batteries. These uses consume more than three quarters of the lithium production. Cool fact, lithium salts have proven to be useful as a mood stabilizing drug in the treatment of bipolar disorder in humans. I won't go into details for all his uses and all those chemical stuff, you can look them up. I personally don't even understand them. All that it's good to know is that lithium is flammable, potentially explosive and easy to cut even with a butter knife. Also, it's the only low numbered element that can produce net energy through nuclear fusion. According to modern cosmological theory, lithium was one of the three elements synthesized in the Big Bang. Older stars seem to have less lithium than they should, and some younger stars have much more. The lack of lithium in older stars is apparently caused by the mixing of lithium into the interior of stars, where it is destroyed, while lithium is produced in younger stars. Though it transmits into two atoms of helium due to collusion with proton at temperatures above 2.4 million degrees Celsius, lithium is more abundant than current com computation would predict in later generation stars. Lithium is also found in brown dwarf sub substellar objects and certain, anomali and certain anomalous orange stars. Because lithium is present in cooler, less massive brown dwarfs, but it's destroyed in hotter red dwarf stars, its presence is the star's spectra can be used in the lithium test to defend yet the two as both are smaller than the Sun. Certain orange stars can also contain a high concentration of lithium, such as Centaurus X4. Major suppliers include Australia, Argentina and China. Lithium is found in, in trace amount in numerous plants, plankton and invertebrates. Marine organisms tend to bioaccumulate lithium more than terrestrial organism. Whether lithium has a physiological role in any of these organisms is unknown. Among other uses, lithium is used in medicine as a heat transfer agent for making alloys and for batteries. Although lithium compounds are known to stabilize mood, scientists still, still don't know the exact mechanism for the effect of the nervous system. What is known is that reduces activity of the receptor for neurotransmitter dopamine and that it crosses the placenta to affect an unborn child. Did you know that lithium is present in every organism's body? Yes, it is present, but till now scientists didn't know the purpose it serves in, in body. Our cell phones live on this element. Yes, the batteries of our beloved phones are made of lithium ions. Lithium also helps in killing algae and absorbs carbon dioxide in space ve ve 
vehicles. Just add a little lithium and concrete and you see it hardening faster than the normal concrete would take. Lithium stearate, if mixed with oil, it becomes a powerful lubricant where the oil can be used for any purpose at high temperatures as well. It doesn't get hard when cooled and it doesn't react with oxygen in air or water. According to researches and studies done in 2008, lithium intervenes the receptor's activity for dopamine. Remember dopamine? The love hormone? Yeah, according to a 2011 study, it increases the brain's volume as well. But till now, we don't have a clue how lithium does all this to us. However, too much is too bad. If taking more than, than the said dose, you would likely experience dizziness, diarrhea, weight gain, dry mouth, etc. According to National Institute of Mental Health, lithium drugs were the first drugs to get a green signal by the Food and Drug Administration for treating bipolar. Lithium also is seen to reduce suicides. People who drink water which has naturally occurring lithium in it show lower suicide rates than others. Having said this, it's not good to use for a longer period of time and especially pregnant women because lithium can also identify effects on the unborn child. That was it for me. Thanks for watching. For me personally, it was super fascinating and I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.